Welcome to our video about the SOLIDWORKS interface. Let's start here by creating a new document. I'm going to click on New. Here we've got three options. We can open a part document, an assembly document, or a drawing document. Let's click on the Advanced tab. Here's where we can access many different templates for these documents. Let's go back to the Novice tab and we'll choose a part document and click OK. SOLIDWORKS has created a part document for us. In the middle of the screen, we've got this white area, and this is called the graphic area. That's where most of your action happens in SOLIDWORKS. This is where the geometry that you sketch and the models that you extrude, etc., appear. The graphic area is where you work with part documents, assembly documents, and drawing documents. Let's take a look at this panel on the left. The first tab gets us onto the Feature Manager Design Tree. Next, the Property Manager. Next, the Configurations Manager. The DIM Expert Manager. And lastly, the Display Manager. We will be looking at all of these environments in more detail later on in this course. At the top of the screen, we've got a ribbon-based command manager. On the ribbon, we can activate a variety of commands depending upon the environment that we're in. The environment can be chosen by clicking one of the tabs that appear below the ribbon. Each tab consists of tools that are unique to that environment. If you right-click on any tab, you get a list of all of the available tabs. Just select one that's unchecked to make it available. Here's the Surfaces tab now. To remove the tab, just right-click again and select it. When you mouse over a tool, callouts appear to explain what the tool does. Extruded Boss Base extrudes a sketch in one or two directions. Let's right-click on the Evaluate tab and scroll down to Customize Command Manager. Here's where we enable or disable the Command Manager. We can choose to use large or small buttons with text. We can specify the button size, the text size, whether we want to show tooltips, use large tooltips, and so on. Here's the checkboxes for tooltips. If you right-click on the tools themselves, you'll see a few more options to show text or not, to show the text below, begin a group, and to delete the tool. Next, we've got the Shortcut Bars tab. Here we can choose between four different environments, Parts, Assembly, Drawing, and Sketch. To add a tool to the shortcut bar, just grab it from the left and drag it onto the shortcut bar on the right. To remove a tool, just grab it from the bar and drag it back to the left. By the way, this is not a graphic representation of the toolbar. This is the actual floating toolbar. <laughs>